stress is not our friend. And finally, let's have a silent moment if we could for little Brit Brit. Poor little Brittany looks like she has been run hard and put to bed wet a couple times, yes? Stress is not our friend. But I'm not talking about the physical parts. I am not talking about the physical aspects of stress necessarily when I'm talking to you about Title I kids. I'm talking more about what cortisol does, and I need for you all to really get this. Cortisol is a good thing when it's used as it was intended to be used, and that is to help us get out of really intense fight-or-flight situations. We're in a fight or flight. Imagine the zebras out there chomping on grass, minding their own business. They do not have cortisol running through their system. They are just chilling in Zimbabwe eating grass. And then they see the lion. And all of a sudden, their desire to eat anything ceases. Digestion stops. Blood pressure cranks up. Heart cranks up. Blood gets sent down to their major muscles, and they take off. And that one zebra is just praying that her friends are slower than she is. <laughs> but the interesting thing is, is that when the danger is done, they get away from the lion, zebras don't keep being stressed and worried. You are not going to hear a zebra Honey, say, do these stripes make my butt look big? <laughs> You're not going to hear zebras worry or stress any other time than in fight or flight. That's it. That's when cortisol is a good thing. When it's a bad thing, it's when cortisol never leaves our system. And that's what you're dealing with with Title I Chirons. We are dealing with a situation in the body where cortisol has flooded the system and it stays. And let me share you a couple things that cortisol does that, that will help you understand how imperative it is to help our kids deal with our stress. Cortisol greatly impacts the prefrontal cortex and the hippocampus. And look what those areas deal with, learning, cognition, and memory. So when there is a flood of cortisol in the system, our ability to help our kids learn, get it, remember it, drastically decreases and or shuts down completely. Second thing is chronic stress, ongoing stress, which is what our kids deal with in the Title I population. It damage, has a damaging impact on the physical, y'all saw Brittany, psychological, emotional, and cognitive. 